kitchen now with Juliet's here, who's treating us, if you haven't seen already, we've, we've eaten about ten, uh, to her delicious cinnamon I don't know how many of them are left, buns. but you've still got that it's big true. bag. I've yeah. got some there. And I'm, that I'm, we can't touch. Yeah, and obviously you, you had some earlier, but they weren't fresh out of the oven. These have just been freshly baked. So hopefully these will be <sighs> even nicer than ones. the ones you've just eaten earlier. What I absolutely love... Um, and yeah. we've discussed this all the way through the Phil Vickery <laughs> Grenada VT, uh, was this sticky oh, bottom. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. That really it's, is. I know, there it? must be a word for that. It's kind of like a crunchy glaze, isn't it? It yeah. kind of goes all, oh, yeah. And it's sticky the middle bottom. for me. Sticky bottom. I love the middle. Sticky bottom. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> right. See then. the difference when they're fresh. Um, mm. So, very easy. It's a, it's a simple dough. So, in here, I've got bread flour. And this is a nice sweet enriched dough. So, there's going to be some sugar going in, some salt. And so obviously some cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And then I've just got some um, quick yeast here, so you don't need to activate it. Just put it all in with the dry mixture. I'll just put that over there. So that's all the dry ingredients together. And just sort of give it a bit of a mix round, first of all, before I put the liquid in. So you can just do this in a, in a bowl and knead it by hand. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got all of your wet ingredients. So we've got warm milk, melted butter, egg and vanilla. So that goes into the dry. Like that. So it's really soft and rich dough. Yeah. Right, so then you just need to bring that together. So what you want to do is just sort of like do it on slow. Again, if you're just doing it by hand, just kind of drag it together so mm. all the liquid um, is absorbed into the flour. And once that's all kind of come together, you start to turn it up. And you just really want to knead it, like give it a good pounding. I always so you... wonder with these things, Julia, is, is, it, is it better with the machine or is it better by hand? It's not better. Obviously, if you do a lot of baking and you've got the space, um, having a machine makes things quicker for you, mm -hmm. you know, a lot faster and easier. But right. you can do it by hand and it's quite nice to do it by hand because then you can kind of... You lose, burn the calories yeah, before you, you eat the bun. Yeah, you definitely do, don't you? And, and there's no... Um, either way, one way or the other, there's no danger of you overworking that. No, not with, not with the bread one. And right. what you'll see is, so that's kind of looking like a bit of a shaggy dough now. Um, so once it comes together, you, the more you knead it, it will become very sort of boingy and pliable. Mm -hmm. um, and it comes together into a nice ball and then you need to let it um, prove for about an hour or so, depends on the room temperature, to double in size. Right. So that's your first proof and then you have it like and that, this. And that, where you've got there, you described it as a shaggy dough, that yeah. was sort of messy around the edges. And that's all right then to put into your into your bowl? No, so this would need to be kneaded for five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Or right. in, a, okay. in a machine right, right. like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So by hand, you it's not a shaggy dough. So it's not a shaggy <laughs> dough, so it's nice and pliable and springy. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so then like let it prove and then you're going to find it's a lovely puffy dough like this. And this is how you kind of get it into the cinnamon. Swell. So I've got some flour here. So you want to flour the surface, and then you just sort of you're going to be rolling out the dough now. So you want right. it in a nice big rectangle. So it's good just to start by sort of sort of shaping it out with your hands first of all, just so kind of like forming a rectangle. And you want it to be about sort of 12 by 24 ish. Okay. So it's quite a thin. Something so satisfying about watching that. Yeah. yeah. So mm. I'm just going to begin rolling it out. So it's quite sort of springy. So it will sort of like spring back on and off but you just keep working it so see so you can use quite a lot of force mm -hmm. and then the other way and I just kind of every so often I'll sort of just pinch out the corners and try and get it into a nice rectangle you can sort of like stretch it a bit you do so, need quite a big work top don't you it takes up quite quite a lot of space it does take a lot of space mm. but what you want is you want to get it this big so that you can really get lots of coils of all of that cinnamon, yeah. sugar and butter. So all the way out like this. As you can see, you can really hand stretch it quite, quite a lot. So let's call it done. That's kind of pretty much... I've yeah. got a rug that's smaller than that. <laughs> <laughs> so once you've got it into its um, shape, all we've got here, we've got some lovely brown sugar, yep. softened butter, more cinnamon, mm -hmm. and you just cream that together like you would if you were doing a sponge cake. Right. So it becomes sort of soft, paler in colour. I'm just going to literally blob on all over the dough, just kind of roughly, like that. You no, know, I don't think I've ever watched these being made. No, I haven't, ever. It's, it's not tricky. Um, yeah, that's true, actually. It's something that people think, oh, it's a lot of effort. But what I was going to say, the nice thing about doing this... It is so lovely and special to have them for a nice breakfast, lovely yeah. and warm. So, so, 
And obviously, it's quite a um, it's quite a uh, sort of like length of time to do it. But you so can you put actually them... you're spreading that out all over on dough. Yeah. How come yeah. that's How not is it not going through? I know. Because it's nice. If I did that, well, we've, because we've kneaded it, it's developed all the gluten, so it's really, really strong. Um, and that so paste, won't I'm assuming, is room temperature, room if not temperature. a little bit warmer. It looks yeah. thick, doesn't it? I keep yeah, then. It does. So obviously, I'm not. I haven't got all the time in the world, but I would literally spread that completely on. And then you just tighten it up like this. Oh, Juliet, you make it look so easy. <laughs> it's really fun. Yeah. I've got... I'm working on a savoury version of these at the Ooh. moment. Lovely garlic and herb. So oh, that would be good. So your paste there is brown sugar, butter and cinnamon. That's it. And then you just... So you get it, these nice coils like that. So you can actually do this the night before, put it in the fridge. Ah, yeah. And then... So then, once you put it like that, cut it in half. And then... I mean, if you want to be fussy, you can measure it, mm -hmm. but, you know... Half and half. You can just argue over who gets the biggest bun. So just cut them all. Oh, look at the swell, look. Yes, yeah, so look, you can see the swells like that. And that's yeah, it. The, that's yeah, it. Put so them, in, put like them in like this. And they look kind of like... Obviously, they're just still quite small. And, and then... Have you, got, um, have you got a glaze going over the top of yeah, that? Yeah, so how long have I got? You've got... Well, you're over time. Oh, I'm running over. Sorry they, about this. They're tasty. <laughs> all right, but we're, so, they're, they're good. So you just basically <laughs> leave these... you to... take now is coming off Judy Dench, so... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, basically, <laughs> yeah... pressure, Julia. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, let them prove again, like we did before, so they'll puff up like this. Yeah. Then you do a lovely egg wash, some um, caster sugar, and bake them for about 25 minutes until they're... Puffy and golden like this. But like I say, you can put them in the fridge at this stage overnight and just get them out in the morning. Yeah. And they're done. It's a good birthday yeah. breakfast. Well done. Mm. I gave them to my husband for his birthday yeah. last week. Thank you. They yeah. are absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. Thank um, you very um, much. Thank you.